In this video, we are going to take you on an art buying trip to visit royal artist Richard Gower. And not only am I going to buy some art from Richard, you'll see it happen, I'm going to ask him to paint this rather lovely piece of sculpture to gower it. Now, admittedly, she is actually just a mannequin from a defunct fashion shop, but with a little bit of artistic flair, Richard Gower will be able to, one, put her arms back on, and two, make it into something absolutely spectacular. So come with me, and by the way, just before I go, just before I go, to let you know that the prices we talk about whilst buying art are gallery prices. These are the prices that you would have to pay in an art gallery to buy a Richard Gower. Obviously, as an art dealer, an agent, I get a commission or a discount. Right, come on you, let's get your arms. Let's go. This is right up your street, this Rich. Oh, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do wonders with this baby. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> What could you do with that, eh? Blimey. Go Tell me, Rich, what are you going to do with that? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. She's a wonderful shape anyway, isn't she? This mannequin. So it's over to you, Rich. You do exactly what you want to do. Blimey, she's a corker. Isn't she great? I've got four of these. So I... What, paint? Can I paint what, what I want? I just, want? I just want you to gower it. A absolutely wonderful. I mean, she's superb as she is, isn't she? She actually is, isn't she? But don't you think we should look... I'm not going to move the arms. I know the arms can move, but I just love the position there. Yeah, I wouldn't be moving the arms too much if I were you, Rich. Because I've done ceramics and things like that, you know, so that, but that would be a joy to do. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, yeah. OK, well, I'll, I'll see you in a couple of months, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much. Wonderful, that will be interesting. So the Gower mannequin will be ready in a couple of months' time and, of course, for sale. Talking about sale and purchase and money and all of that, well, before we get down to the nitty-gritty of me buying art from Richard Gower, Richard just wants to show me a private exhibition space he sometimes creates for particular clients who like to see things more in an, an open environment, and then we'll get down to buying some art. So this is um, a space which is, is kindly loaned to me when um, a collector wishes to see certain works rather than in the studio. So there's a few commissions here which are for sale there. And then my reflections work which is all now framed, packed, ready for, ready for the framers. Uh, for the um, galleries. So where are they heading to then? Hopefully some galleries in London or um, uh, dealers or other independent collectors. This particular one here is, is quite interesting. This is Helen Farrer, the classical pianist. Um, and we did an event where she was playing Chopin, Rachmaninoff, and I was painting live in front of an audience. And it was a wonderful, wonderful event. Now, this particular work is going to be auctioned for the Prince's Trust. Prints are available of it, but uh, we're trying to support the Prince's Trust with it. And it's just it's something a little bit different where people can actually see me painting. And Helen is just a wonderful pianist. And, uh, so what were you doing? You were actually on the stage painting whilst she was playing. It, it, we're on the ground level actually, and, and the stage went back with, with people. So I think it was about 50 for this initial event due to COVID. And we came on stage, uh, Helen does a lot with Steinway, so the piano had to be tuned properly, etc. We were oh. introduced and then sat down, Helen started playing. And I listen to music anyway when I'm, when I'm painting. And no, no, no score for her. Just, just playing this wonderful classical music. I had my canvas prepared, so the audience is behind me like where you are, and away we went. 
And you just painted live in front of an audience? I just painted live. Just painted How live. amazing. Was that nerve wracking? At first I thought it might be, but because you're just focusing on what you're doing uh, as a painter, um, then, and like Helen playing, you don't notice anybody else about. You're just yeah. focusing on and getting the mood and everything. Well, you just go into your own world, which it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It was finished in the, in the studio later, which a lot of plan air painters do anyway. Um, and, but we got the good feel for it all. Brilliant. And then the candles, which you just might see kicking around, I put them in afterwards, but there's loads of little candles around it as well. It's, it's a fabulous evening. Okay, so that one is not for sale, that's not going for sale. to auction. No. Okay, no. fair enough. And what about the, I mean, this is very much you, the reflections. I've got a couple of reflections already. Yes. What sort of money, Rich, for, what kind of size is that? This one here is a, is a 120, sorry, a 90 by 120 yeah. canvas. Um, people watching, which I love. Yeah. Um, my signature reflections, this is my, my brush as I call it. So you've got a, a lady here obviously checking a text message, a couple walking away, a guy walking off. And it's always like they're moving away over the canvas and stuff. It's kind of a snapshot in time really, isn't it? I mean, when, when this is looked at in a hundred years time, yeah. they'll be referring to it being a snapshot yes. of the early part of the 21st century with mobile phones. God only knows what we'll be using oh, in a hundred yeah, years. In, indeed, yeah. yeah. What will be next, yeah. What be sort of money? Be a spaceship coming across. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What sort of money, Rich? Gallery price? Gallery price for that, uh, 2250, um, that sort of size. Okay. Go for that one, yeah. Fair enough. Um, and then the, if... the smaller ones range from I think you're about 495. This is part of my graffiti collection. Uh, what's um, all that about then? I just love the graffiti walls. I think I've mentioned before where the deteriorating um, billboard posters, etc., and using letter set and things, but just these two characters, one looking at the graffiti, another one walking across. So they're anonymous again. But I remember the, the so which. I was just finishing off when you last came to see me. Oh, we filmed with that, didn't we? Yeah, and, and what I like about this as well, commissions, um, people can get their own initials in somehow oh, to right. make it even more personal, you know? But I've called it so, as in, so, it's life, it's what's happening. Life yeah. moves on, Rich. Life moves on. Okay, yeah, of course, I remember that. That was in the summertime. And the one in the middle, lady with a handbag, this is city life. You know, they could be leaving the tube, could be leaving the bus, heading to work. Oh. But you're following them. Yeah. They're, they're going into the distance. And similar sort of money, gallery price. I've got to say, Rich, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. What, what's the title? This is called Big Red. Um, it's a lady, the female form, the shapes, it's, it's just wonderful. Every painter paints the, the, the female form. Um, influenced by Valeskis. Um, the, the Valeskis did, um, I think the title was Venus in her toilet, which basically she's reclining on a bed, looking at herself in the mirror, horizontally. My nudes, as I, as I say, um, as I call them, work vertically and horizontally. I prefer this as a work of art because she's flowing up and I've managed to get the porcelain effect as if a sculpture on, on, on the body but then added my certain bits of, I don't know, is it abstract? Is it just colour? Red and blue always works well together for me and it just, just makes a wonderful form, wonderful shape. Um, without losing anything to the figure itself. So you've taken a very traditional painting as inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They all did. We all, all artists done throughout times ha have done. But I'll show you it if I don't drop it. Go on. What are you going to do? Um, horizontal. Ah. So, you, so you can see how it works. Now this is glazed. I like also that it's glazed because you can see your own reflection in it. Okay, well I can see reflections. Before you do it, ah, uh, ah, uh, I was going to say, well, how much is it before you smash it? <laughs> this is about five thousand. Five grand. Okay. Five grand. <laughs> Go on. 
Let's see if we can reduce right. it by yeah, smashing it. Thanks for your help it. on this, man. <laughs> so, am I above it? Yeah, are we there? Oh, stay. Wow. Okay, now I see So the you can see she's influence. a reclining yeah. nude. Um, so she works horizontal as well as vertically. She really does. Now, Velasquez is the other way around. Her head's there with a the mirror, and I think there's a cherub somewhere. But it's just, she's almost a sculpture, the way I've painted her. It's porcelain, as if I've chiselled away like, well, I couldn't chisel away like Michelangelo if I tried, but, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful piece. She's stunning. So we're looking at five, 5K? Yeah. And then something completely different here, Rich. Talk us through that. The, these are a couple of commissions, and the, uh, just a selection of Marotti. I do all sorts of commissions. That uh, this particular one what, is of Paris at night. Now you might recognise it, you might not, but a completely different um, approach I've chosen. Obviously, you know I'm in, influenced by the Impressionists, but if you look close, you know the, the, the splodge here, which is an instinctive thing. And it's almost like, I don't know, Monet and his Houses of Parliament. Up close, when you see them at the Grand, uh, the Grand National, at the National Museum. You can't, when you see them at the Grand National, at the National Museum, you can't tell what they are, but when you come back, you just see... It comes together. It, it comes, does. It comes yeah. together. So, you, your blues, your dark Prussian blue, your other blues, and, and then obviously the yellows, and. Crimson, the, the, the creams coming through. You're big into your Prussian blue, aren't you? I love it. it. It's rare I would use black. I think Prussian blue, when not thinned, not mixed with other colours, is dark enough to get black without it being the stark of black. Okay, but that's not buyable today. So, say again? It's not buyable today, is that what you're saying? Or is it a commission? Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's an, oh it's, yeah, it's a commission. You can't, you can't buy that. I can't buy it. You can't buy it. Sorry, okay. I misunderstood. Yeah, you can't buy that. That's that's heading over to to um, to Italy uh, um, oh. for, for for a collector. Um, but the Paris scene meant something to them. Right? Fair so, enough. So that's so, so why we've done that. And what about down here? What have we got? Below here, we've got um, it's a collector in Portugal, and this is. Um, I won't mention his name, but some people might recognise him in his, it, his it wife. He won't mind his for me, it? No, not at all, not at all. I hope it that's is, his it, wife. It, 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 I've met them. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just like the way they, you can see they're in love, that they're linked together, they're looking out, you know, over the sea in Portugal and the, the light of the blues, but, but yeah. It's not a big hot sunny day. It's it, it's how very textures. romantic. Yeah, we are. Oh, pages, honestly. We? Yeah, yeah. So that's just a small commission, which just captures their moment. Um, I've brought this particular work in. Um, it, it's very special. Another commission um, of the Rose Walk. Now, at a distance, you, you can't see how thick the paint is. It's, it's just a wonderful piece. I've got here the uh, lilac um, and um, obviously the arches of the, of the rose walk going through and the thickness of the paint, if you look, it's just, it's just awesome. So that, again, isn't for sale. That was a commission for somebody, but I just wanted to, to show you this work and how the painting leads you in to the centre. And framing is important sometimes. I always frame my reflections in white. Um, it's funny, Gauguin and Van Gogh, they, all their works were framed in white. But when you see them in galleries, I mean, I know all these ornate frames, but, but they always frame themselves in white. But this in, in just, just a, a, a subtle gold frame sets it off. So framing is different for each collector to fit their environment as well. So again, not one I can buy, Rich. No, no. I love that. No. Okay, fair enough. So why don't we then dive back into Richard Gower's studio and look at some pieces of art I can buy. Are these all available, Rich? They, they are, yeah. Uh, apart from the one in the middle, which is a commission. Um, we saw the Rose Walk 
down at when I'm presenting work to, to a collector. This is another commission based upon it for a specific size. Right. But it's slightly different. It, this, is, this is newer than, than, than the, the other one. As you can see, the lavender, the, the lilac has gone. We've just got the path underneath, but okay. it's still the same view. But, so I but can't, sad. what you're trying to say to me in a very long-winded way is <laughs> I can't <laughs> buy that. You can't buy that. Right, tell That's me what I can buy. specific for a collector. Okay, what can I buy? Um, all the others are available, actually. What I do is I hang these on the wall uh, before the frame just to have a look at, see what they curated. And again, the, the human form. So, so this is available. This one here and the texture on this is awesome. I've, I've used a lot of pastiche on this particular one and it just gives it a bit more punch with the blue figures again. It's not Prussian blue this actually, this is, this is ultramarine which makes it a bit brighter. Still working on a Greenwich thing here but you can see the city and the old Greenwich yeah. un underneath on that one. What's the title of the, the blue moon? I will tell you. It is... Yeah, I better cut that, it's not on. <laughs> you, you haven't called. even titled it yet. The, the dancers. The dancers. The dancers. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Gallery dancers. price. Gallery price. That um, that size is two two five zero. So some paintings on the size when there's more work in it, there's been more um, research for it, etc. They, they, they can vary in price, but but the standard price is about two two five zero. Two two five zero. Okay. Um, the commission. How about what sort of money roughly would that be? The ga gallery commission price for that would be about six. Okay. Six because thousand. I've got a client that might be interested in something like that. So okay, yeah, six. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, and then the price. dancers to the far. The, the dancers yeah. the same. Um, two two five zero. Fine. Um, and this this particular technique of put on, scraped off, put on to give it more of a, a ghostly image, not yeah. as in spookily, but just no. a sort of blur movement type effect with it. Okay, and, I like that. And, and again, and then the, these here, uh, these were just um, charcoal sketches for my reflections, which I, I've had framed. Yeah. Which was, uh, I mean, I love that. That's just like a windy day. Yeah, that's uh, lovely. You know, you know, so, so. I like your use of colours, though. You know I'm big into colours. Yeah. Okay, so for me then, the blue dancers. Yeah. Let me have that one. Fine, yeah. I will get it framed, David. Don't, you know, it'll be all sorted. No, you don't blue. need to. All right, okay. No, yeah, it's fine. fine. No, right, no, because right. I think a lot of clients buy them unframed anyway, don't they? Don't you yeah, find that? Yeah, I know mine yeah, do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They and do. then let them frame... How they you know, want the to fit their environment. Want to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. fine. So I'll have yeah, that yeah. as it is. Yeah. Um, what else have you got? I've got um, a couple of London ones here. Um, let's bear with me. This. I'll take the bubble wrap off this, so you can see the image. It's it's, it's from the framers. Um, it's Trafalgar Square. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll take it all off if yeah, you want. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's, that's a look. fine. Yeah, no, I, well, I recognise the scene. So, um, but it's just got a modern twist. You know, you've you've still got the uh, where are they? Da, 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 the lions in and everything. This can you lift it up, Rich? Sorry, sorry, yeah, mate. Yeah. 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 And but the, there's a modern lift there and the people lining screwing about and Nelson's column. So this is very much. Gala reflections. Isn't it, it is, yeah, typical. Yeah, this one. is very much yeah. Typical one. Okay. Um, has it got the dollar bill on the reverse? Certainly has. Okay. Which is um, my way of cataloguing. Um, it's something I've done with all my paintings. I retain the other half so the numbers tie up so you know you've got a gala. Is that because you've had problems in the past with other artists? There has been maybe people trying to copy or, or whatever, but, but it, it's just, but we're, let's say we're all artists are influenced by other artists, so I take it as a compliment in a way, but to know you've got one of mine it is always a half dollar, because not all my work is reflections, you know, it's commissions, which isn't a reflection, so I always use a half dollar behind it, and then the other half is retained safely. Uh, as cataloging so if ever you get a gower if you're unsure there's anyone to stick a half dollar on it come back to me or to a gallery and they will tell you if it's right because the numbers will tie up very good very yeah. simple system yeah. good, good yeah. one okay what sort of money gallery well um that's an 80 60 by 80 that's a 1695 1695 yeah yeah okay yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, it's a good size, isn't it? It's a good thing. They, 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 they are a nice mm. size. Um, it, it's. It depends also on the clay. Some some people like a landscape effect above a fireplace yeah. or whatever. But you know, not this particular one. But they do work pottery yeah. as, as well. But um, I'm. I'm a sort of stickler. I mean, you've never seen it at the back here, and and um, she's huge, and I've got low ceilings, but she has a presence. So I'm cool about that. You know, big paintings on, on a wall. Now I've tried to buy Nancy before. Can I buy Nancy? Nancy is available. Um, Nancy, I've used um, as reference. Um, when you get up close to Nancy, you can see the detail. But she, she's a corker. I mean, she's contemplating. That you, you, you know, you're ten thousand for that. You know, it's not going to budge, is it? I have tried to buy her before. It's ten grand. Ten grand. Yeah, yeah. She but, is. but but it is a corker. She is. She's an absolute beauty, and um, mm. but not in your face with it. She's she she's almost life size as well. She's lovely. Um, and um, just sat there coolly at the back of the room. Fair she, enough. She 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 gives a presence. You know, she's there. Okay. Okay. Um, Sixteen ninety five gallery. All right. Fair enough. Um, okay, I'll have that, Rich. Oh, right. Let me have that one. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So, yeah, I'll have yeah, those yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, super. Yeah. Thank you. What about, I mean, the blues, what about something of a bit of a punchy colour? Like a bit of punchy colour. I've got clients I, who I really have. like to funk up rooms. Um, it's, it's, um, it's, bear with me. Neon. Piccadilly. Ah, back to London. Okay. Neon Piccadilly. Come on in, Neon With Black Piccadilly. Cab and Dullard. So, <laughs> um, Wowzer. It's got a bit of a pop art feel, but it is definitely a reflection. But it's a, it's a big gower. That's a proper yeah, gower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with, yeah, pop art. And a sort of Coca Cola. You can see the black cab here. So there's a slight abstract to it. Oh, I see that, yes. Yeah, so just, just there with it. But it's all the lights, the reflections, the lights that come through. Cool. So the shocking pink. And I've used on this um, pastel as well, just to get a shimmer effect. But this, this couple linking in, you know, going to through Piccadilly, maybe into the theatre, whatever. And so you can really, see it's been raining. And it's been raining. It's certainly been raining, yeah. yeah. And that, and so you get, it's it's almost a double reflection of what's going on. You know yeah. what I mean? That's that's what you get with it. Well, oh, I've got it. The yeah. excitement of the streets of London. Yes. Yeah. Piccadilly. Eh? Piccadilly. Okay. okay. Yeah. Gallery price. What sort of money? That's that size is two two fifty. Okay. Two two fifty. Okay. And title of that is it just Piccadilly? It is Neon Piccadilly with Black Cab. Okay. It's titled on the back there. Okay, it's well. up. Ready yeah. to go. That, that's that's how it is, yeah. Same size as Blue Dancers, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks bigger because it it's does. framed. Yeah. But but the they all set <laughs> framing yeah, it, it does set off. It's a window out on, on onto the yeah. onto the works, you know. So they're always nice framed. But like I say, I just put these up to have a look at. See if I'm happy with it. Okay, them. okay. Because framing isn't cheap, is it? These, these Rich, days. I'll have it. Oh, right, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll have that one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a beauty. beauty. Okay, yep. done. Super. Done deal. Thank, Thank you, very you much. sir. Thank you. That's it. Good. Yeah. Right, okay, very pleased with those. Three purchases. Keep watching because another one sneaks its way in in a moment. But let's have a look at these three first. So, Blue Dancers oil on canvas but i adore the thick texture to this one really effective and works fabulously well without a frame here now we've got what you might refer to as a typical gower in the nicest possible way it's just gower through and through his reflections trafalgar square it's a good size it's entry level but just really very very appealing and then this one for me is stunning. It's a typical Gower Reflections, but the neon paint, London Piccadilly, I think he's taken it to another level altogether. Let me know which one you prefer. Oh, can I show you this before, before we go? Um, it's 
there is, it's a direct copy of, um, of a Modigliani. It's, it's not in the manner of I've, I've, I've copied it, but also some influences of other artists. That's one of mine there, Richard. So um, there is. There is, <laughs> just left, left there, in pride and place. So this is my M Modigliani. I love the way she's positioned in, the, in this situation and it is more or less a copy. I can't afford 50 million for a Modigliani no. or something. But if you look close, I've, I've aged her, there's sort of crackling going on. So there's a lot of work in, in that to get the age um, of it. Modigliani, um, as a painter, um, I mean, Picasso and all these guys were together. Modigliani's selling point was for his nudes that uh, I might paint your eyes. Sometimes he didn't, sometimes he just left them with the black eyes, but the selling point was I might paint your eyes in. And that's one of his things. I, I don't know tricks like that, I'll paint eyes. How, then, did he, how did he decide, how did he decide whether he was gonna paint the eyes or not paint the eyes? I, I think it could be a saucy. <laughs> saucy <laughs> reason? Yeah, I think so. so I'll, yeah, if yeah. you're nice to me, I'll paint your yeah, eyes. Yeah, something oh, like yeah. that, yeah, yeah. As, as far as I know. And then... Um, oh, that's a lovely mind. What sort of money, Rich? Uh, well, four grand on that because of yeah. the work that went in. Oh, but I but, that, I but I, I, again, well, it's better than know, fifty million quid. It, it is, but but um, yeah, it, it's. And I would sign that Modigliani, but sign it on the back gower. Um, yeah. Like the the money copy I did for someone as a commission, signed it Claude Monet, which he can do, but signed it Gower on on, on the oh, back. Yeah. But to, to do a direct copy, there's a lot of work that goes it goes oh, into. Of course. It, and, <laughs> And I think we all recognise that style, don't we? Yeah, the, the influence of uh, the genius of Picasso, um, it's not a copy, it, it was just something I, I did out of my head based upon him and, and his research and it's it's girl writing diary in front of mirror. I love it, Rich, and, I absolutely love and it. And I've, I've, I've just signed it, 23rd of the 9th, 21, so that's the actual date. Picasso used to sign them just with a date sometimes. But I've used the, the techniques, the quickness of it like Picasso would in that particular situation. That is gorgeous. Gallery price? Um, you're 895 for, for, for that. But it's a, it, it is a Gower in, in the sense it's not a direct copy. No, um, no, no it's just inspired yeah. by, isn't it? I'm not going to fall down the stairs. Don't fall down the stairs, <laughs> Rich. Don't fall down the stairs. OK, yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, oh, dear. I'm going to take the Gower Picasso. Oh, wonderful, yeah. She's a beauty. Yeah, she's lovely. And that was it. The little Gower Picasso was the painting that sneaked its way in. Four fabulous buys. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm David Harper. Cheerio.